we came out of the fall, obviously added uh, Robbie Avila this fall, and then we, we knew going into the spring, um, you know, when we had the type of year we did, you know, when, when you don't have success, and even when you do have success, you got to really uh, examine autopsy the season. Um, what are things you're doing well? Where are areas you can improve on? And when you have a year like we did, where, where you go 11 and 20, um, they're, they're deficits. Closers are, are, are rare, you know. The best teams that I've coached always had one. Um, and, and a closer, there's, there's a, uh, you know, a, a skill component to that, like, a, you know, you gotta be able to, to, to handle the ball, you gotta be able to shoot, you gotta be able to uh, take advantage of mismatches. You know, when a game in college basketball gets is close and gets the final three, four minutes of a close game, uh, the game slows down. Best NBA teams, you know, have great closers. Best college teams, uh, have guys that can close. I think you need guys that uh, the back end of the shot clock, things aren't going well, you had a kind of a busted possession, they can go get a great shot anytime because their ability to shoot the ball, their ability to drive the ball, and their ability to make plays for their teammates. And, you know, Voss is one of those guys that, uh, you know, had, you know, all of those characteristics. We were really intentional with our recruiting and making sure that we got guys that fit schematically and guys that we, we want to, you know, feel like fit culturally. Um, and, and Cade's a guy, you know, um, he's a two-time All-American, and I think, you know, people look at it and say, oh, well, you know, so-and-so is a Division II player, Division II player. Um, you know, all Division I transfers aren't equal, all Division II transfers aren't equal. Um, you know, um, when you look at Cade McKnight, you're talking about a, a big guy, 6'9", 240 pounds, uh, tremendous skill set. He's got great versatility um, as a big, and, you know, we're bringing in guys uh, that we think are foundational pieces in Robbie Avila, Rob Martin. Um, we wanted guys that we weren't going to throw them to the wolves right away. Doesn't mean they won't start or play all those minutes, but we wanted to make sure that, that we had guys in that could mentor them, could could certainly teach them, could take some pressure off them. Trent's a guy that um, you know I, I played against for three years, you know, and and uh, that's really unique. I think when you, when you coach a guy, obviously, is the the best way to get to to know who they are, and and probably competing against them is the second best way. And three years against him, I was just amazed with. Uh, um, you know, you, you can feel him inside a competition. You know, interleague transfers are going to become more the norm. Um, I know they're, they're uh, you know, we're stigmatized, of course, and there was a, a lot of uh, penalties to doing it uh, prior, but, um, you know, he was one that w was a, a unique deal. As we talked about, I really liked his game and, and what he brought, particularly defensively, to Bradley. I thought they were just outstanding defensively. I thought he was a big part of that, uh, his versatility there. and. Um, you know, Coach Mansky, obviously, uh, Jason played high school basketball at Old Forest with Robbie Avila. I talked to Robbie. Uh, Robbie said Jason's best teammate he's ever had. Thought he was a guy that, that you know, was an unbelievable worker. Yeah, Rob is a guy that uh, I just love. I think he's got a huge chip on his shoulder. He's, um, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a smaller guard. You know, he's 5'9", 5 5'10". 5 he's as fast a player as ever coached. He's got unbelievable quickness. Um, he combines that with an ability to shoot. Uh, off the dribble, um, which when you're smaller is, is really important to be able to do that. He's got a great feel, he can pass the basketball, um, competitive, uh, high IQ, and, and at his core, like the rest of these guys, um, I think he's about winning. 